The new Daikin Fit Enhanced Heat Pump is out today. And in this video, we're going to be covering some of the awesome specs that this thing puts out. And if you're tuning into the channel for the first time and you aren't familiar with the Daikin Fit or the dual fuel technology that Daikin and some other manufacturers offer, there's some other videos that we have put out in the past that cover the types of inverters and dual fuel technology that is on the market. So for your convenience, we will link those videos at the end for you to check out if you haven't done so already. Because in this video, we will be covering some of the changes to the Daikin Fit that are available in the new enhanced version. Now, first off, let's talk about what the original Daikin Fit is and why it's a revolutionary piece of technology and one of our favorite air conditioners. Now, the Daikin Fit is a side discharge condenser that comes in cooling or heat pump option. A side discharge means that instead of the fan blowing air off the top of your condenser, like you might be used to, it actually discharges out the side, which is why the Daikin Fit condenser looks more similar to a traditional mini split or ductless split condenser, but it is in fact a standard central air application. Now the standard Daikin Fit and Daikin Fit heat pump is still available, but the enhanced version covers a specific application and one of the shortcomings of the original Daikin Fit. Now, one of the only shortcomings of the Daikin Fit was that it didn't originally qualify for rebates in some municipalities. However, this is becoming less true, even though our municipality, Excel Energy here in Denver, Colorado, still does not offer rebates on the standard or the enhanced fit. Reports from other contractors offering the Daikin Fit just to our north in places like Fort Collins, Colorado, and in multiple markets in Salt Lake City are selling the Daikin Fit and their municipalities offer rebates. And in addition to Phoenix, Arizona, we're able to offer rebates there. So your municipality may be offering a rebate on this equipment. Now it's just important to talk to a local contractor that is familiar with the current rebate offerings in your area. But rebates aside, there was one other caveat with the Daikin Fit heat pump, and that is in dual fuel applications. The Daikin Fit was limited to a maximum capacity of three tons when paired with a heat pump and furnace combination. If your source of backup heat was an electric heat kit inside of an air handler instead of a furnace, then this limitation didn't apply to you. But in Colorado, we sell a lot of dual fuel systems because people like the ability to have backup heat uh, from a furnace for those colder nights because the amp draw of a furnace is substantially less than that of an electric heat kit. Now, one of the benefits that has just come out for both the standard and enhanced version of the Daikin Fit is that they are now available in dual fuel application all the way up to five tons, which is great for us because now we no longer have to tell customers that need five tons of cooling that the Daikin Fit isn't available as an option for their dual fuel application. Now the enhanced version of the heat pump only pairs in a dual fuel application up to four tons as of this moment, but in the event that you need a five ton heat pump or five ton AC, the bottom line is this is no longer a restriction of the Daikin Fit, which is great news for our customers in Colorado and most of our subscribers in other cold weather states, because again, if you're not familiar with dual fuel technology and how that works, as a reminder, there's going to be a link uh, to a video at the end of this that discusses that technology and explains it in further detail. But the bottom line is this is a very popular thing for cold weather climates. Now let's talk about some of the other upgrades that the new Enhanced Daikin Fit has. The reason the Fit Enhanced Heat Pump and AC qualify for the 25C tax credit is because they now qualify as a cold climate heat pump and also have a slightly higher EER rating and COP rating. Since the EER rating is above 10 and the COP rating, which stands for coefficient of performance, is above 1.75 and therefore meet the standards to qualify for this 25C tax credit as a heat pump. And if you're curious about what these efficiency ratings are and what they mean. There's another video we talk about this on our channel. So I'll link that for you at the end as well. It's about efficiency ratings and explains how they're actually calculated. Now the new Daikin Fit Enhanced is also Energy Star certified and the heat pump is cold climate certified, which is how it qualifies for this credit. Now, if you're wondering what makes a heat pump cold climate certified, I'll touch on that now. Before we do that, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's a free way you can support the channel and it really helps us out a lot with the algorithm and is much appreciated. And also feel free to post a comment in the comment section below letting us know what project you're currently working on uh, because we do read all the comments and we use that information to create content and we also want to answer your questions. I'm always curious what types of projects people are working on so if you post your specific situation or a particular question in the comment section it is always appreciated and we do our best to respond in a timely manner. Now there's a few pieces of 
of criteria that qualify a heat pump to be considered cold climate, but the biggest one is its ability to maintain 75% or higher capacity at five degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you happen to live in a very cold climate, like some of our Canadian subscribers that get well below these temperatures, that might sound like it's not rated for cold climates by your definition. And this is why it's important to talk to a local contractor that knows what they're talking about, because oftentimes in extremely frigid Arctic climates, a ground source heat pump may be a better option for you, but you just have to talk to a local contractor that is not averse to heat pumps or not heat pump phobic. You have no idea how many times we have had customers in Colorado tell us that they have had other companies come out and the other two companies they talked to before we came out said that heat pumps don't work in Colorado, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We literally have one at my house and we live at 8,000 feet elevation. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. That's right, we come out for free for all first-time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service, so you can stay up-to-date when we start servicing your metro. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now that talk about the Daikin fit in more detail, uh, dual fuel heat pumps, as well as what energy efficiency ratings are and how they are calculated. So check those out if you haven't already, and we will catch you on the next episode.